So a while back ago, I was peering through some of the Vim RCs of some of these legends like SPF 13 or Steve Francia or Francia. I, I don't know how it's pronounced. I, I My Spanish is terrible. Uh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. I was peering through his Vim RC and I saw some stuff that looked kind of weird. I just, I didn't even think about it. I loaded it into my Vim and uh, when I started up, I was like in another world. I didn't know what was going on. I was, I was scared. It was weird. So um, one of the things that was kind of strange though is that I noticed that whenever I would change the line numbers, whenever I'd go up or down, all of the line numbers to the side would change along with me. And I was like, what the hell, man? That's weird, Steve Francia. What are you doing? So now that I've uh, gotten a little bit more experience with Vim, I guess, uh, I've found out exactly what that's for. And it's actually really, really cool, useful. So uh, let me just show you what it's about. So after digging around a little bit, I eventually found out that what he had is this relative number variable set inside his VimRC. And uh, what this does is that pretty much when relative number is set to true, or pretty much when you have this in your VimRC, uh, then Vim will display every line number as being relative to where you currently are. And okay, that seems kind of weird. Why would you want to do that? That seems dumb, unless you're just trying to be fancy and impress people. But it's not, actually. So uh, let me just show you a different file. All right, so hey, we're here in this this model uh, for Rails, right? And you see now at my cursor, there's 11, and the lines directly above and below it have a one next to it. That's because they're one line away, right? The ones above and below, those are two, because, well, they're two lines away from where I am. All right, why is this useful? Get to the point. So it's useful because in Vim, you can repeat an action, almost, almost any action, by prepending a number to it. So... For instance, say I want to go up normally. I go up one line by pressing K, right? Okay, cool. Say I want to go up by two lines. Sure, you can hit KK like an ape, but that's ridiculous. You can instead hit 2K, all right? And it just starts to compound. If I want to go up by nine lines, I can hit 9K. Or if I want to go up 3,000 lines, 3,000K, you get it. All right, so this is useful because, okay, sure. You can jump around nice and fast. And you might be saying, well, uh, Thomas, why don't you just use the easy motion plugin if you don't use easy motion, you're a plebeian. Well, of course, yes. Use use easy motion, please. Yes, do that. Yes, but this is also just a, a nice extra way because I use both, and I think they're both great. So you don't have to stop. You don't have to limit yourself. So we can do then. Say we want to go to this belongs to owner class name user. We'll look over to the left side. We see oh, it's seven away from us. So you can just hit seven J to go down seven times to there. This also stacks up with motions as well, like the delete, uh, delete in Word, whatever, motion. So if I want to delete everything uh, going up to medium width, again, uh, you can hit D for K, and you see it deletes everything up to four lines to the top, right? So you can do that all over the place. And it's just nice because it helps you get around faster. Instead of hitting J, 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 K, 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 you can just boil it down to two keystrokes just hit 3j or you know whatever it's it's nice try it you might like it too anyway what do you think about it let me know in the comments